Uh, the Commerce Department is looking right now at spectrum in the 1.7 gigahertz band. That's spectrum that the industry really, really wants. However, the Defense Department and other agencies are using that spectrum. How concerned are you that it will take too long to, to free that spectrum up, that it might not be within the 10 years that NTIA, which is the agency looking at that, would hope to free that up if it decides it can be? Sure. So I, I think it's important to note that going forward, I'm not aware of, I don't think we're ever going to find any greenfield spectrum, spectrum that isn't encumbered in, in some way. Um, the, the way we look at it, is, at it is if you can get the government focusing on a significant uh, amount of spectrum, 500 megahertz is what right now they're focusing on, um, and, and you can get them focusing on some of it in the commercial space and some of it in the government space, um, and, and you can try to move each of those forward you have the likelihood that you will have a, a sort of a rolling out of spectrum over time. Some of it sooner, some of it later. Um, we certainly have pushed hard, Paul, you referenced it, for our desire for 1755 to, to 1780 megahertz to be made available. Um, I know that, that the NTI is looking at uh, 1755 all the way up to 1850. We believe the focus, at least initially, should be on that, that initial swath, and everything should be done uh, that, that can be done, short of you know, causing harm to our national security, of course, but everything that can be done should be done to, to reallocate that spectrum. And then, you know, to Matt's point earlier about uh, Verizon and AT&T winning the lion's share of 700 megahertz, um, you know, I, I don't want to be a defender of those two, yet uh, Sprint and T-Mobile didn't participate in the auction. What we're hoping is we can bring a very large swath of spectrum to market at, at one point in time, 100, 200 megahertz, and allow everyone who wants to participate the chance to come there and buy fungible assets. And that's communicators for this week on C-SPAN. Our guests, Chris Gutman McCabe of the wireless industry, Matt Wood of Free Press, and Paul Kirby of Telecommunications Reports. Gentlemen, thank you. The report, if you're interested in reading the 15th annual wireless competition report, of the FCC is hyperlinked at our website cspan.org slash communicators.